In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a correlation or covariance matrix just using Excel. You can follow along using this data set, which I've got a link to in the show notes for you to download. Um, be aware that I'm using um, Microsoft 365 in case there's any differences. The other thing to be aware of is that you need to have this data analysis add-in in your version of Excel. If you don't have it, I'll show you real quickly how to do that. What you're going to do is you're going to go to File, go down to Add-ins, need to Options, then you're going to click on Add-ins right here, where it says Analysis Toolpack, go ahead and click on that, click on Go. Have, check on these first two options here, and then click OK. That's all you need to do, and then this will be added in here, and you'll have a variety of things that you can now do in Excel for statistical analysis. So in order to do this, what you're going to do is click on Data Analysis, so within the Data tab, and if you go along here, you're going to see all the various things now you can do. You're going to see correlation and covariance. Those are your two options. Um, they're, they're used the same way. One just gives you a correlation matrix and one gives you a covariance matrix. So let's click on correlation, click OK. And then we need to choose what columns to input. Now in this data set, it's got fictional data in it. It's as if I've got 20 items here measured on a scale. And we're just going to do a correlation matrix for those 20 items. So I'm just going to highlight those particular columns. Okay, so I've got those here, and you want to check on grouped by columns if you've got the data in columns. If you've got it in rows, of course, you click on rows. Now, if you have labels like I do in the first row, you'll need to tell it that, otherwise you'll get an error. And then you're going to tell it where the output should go. If you click on this option, the output's going to stay within the same sheet, and whatever cell number you give it, say I said AA1, the upper left-hand corner of your results will start there and it'll go to the right and down from there. Or you can click on New Worksheet or a New Workbook altogether. I usually use a New Worksheet. Click on that and you'll see it'll pop open for you in a new work in the new sheet. And here you see you've got my your correlation matrix. And that's really all there is to it. If you wanted a covariance matrix instead, you would do the same thing, except click on covariance instead of correlation here. Click on OK. Select the columns that you would like. Columns, I've got labels here. I'm going to also do that in a new worksheet. Click on OK. And you'll see here that it'll pop up again in a new sheet, but this time it'll have the covariance matrix instead of the correlation matrix for you.